It is a 46 time for a thirsty Thursday. Okay, imagine this drag queens walking through the vineyards of Yamhill County. Sounds like a good time. Yeah. And that is exactly what you can expect at this year's Wine Country Pride event being held at Remy Wines near Dundee. Joining us live with a preview of all the fun is winemaker and owner Remy Drabkin and John Peterson, a farmer with Pollinate Flowers. Good morning. Hey there. Oh, okay, we're getting the audio. We're fixed. getting our audio our so we can hear you. Us. This is on our end, I think. So happy Pride Month. Thanks for joining us. Tell us about Wine Country Pride. Absolutely. So we're really excited to be bringing the second annual Wine Country Pride to Yamhill County this year. We have a month long celebration going through our Rainbow Quest initiative, which is a drink program that's happening at coffee houses, breweries, wineries, distilleries, restaurants throughout Yamhill County, raising money for Wine Country Pride. And we have a weekend long uh, event session happening, starting with a launch party tomorrow night, a main event, which you can all watch on live stream on Saturday, a public pride parade, and on Sunday morning, yoga and mimosas on the lawn with the McMinnville Women's Choir. And all of that is to raise money for local LGBTQ youth to go on to vocational training or higher education. We have uh, scholarships going to every high school in Yamhill County. We have queer authored books or books featuring queer characters going to our public schools and public libraries. Next year, we're funding art installations. This year, Pollinate has an art installation in the Newburgh Public Library, and I'll let John tell you about our flag initiative throughout Yamhill County. Yeah, so we, uh, Pollinate has donated pride flags for the last three years to any business in Yamhill County that wants to show their support. Um, it's a great way to highlight visibility, highlight allyship, and it's created a lot of amazing conversation and change here in Yamhill County. And we're really excited to announce that we've uh, sold or distributed over 350 pride flags just this year in oh, the county. Wow, that's wow, fantastic. That is cool. You know, John, what, what is the importance of, of celebrating pride in wine country? And, and why does your business take part in all this? Absolutely. So it's really important in wine country uh, where the queer community is um, very spread out and there's not necessarily a lot of uh, a focus on our community here at this time. And so this is really kind of the next frontier in LGBTQ rights and awareness is spreading this awareness to the rural areas, creating safe spaces where we can all gather and support each other. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And um, this is monumental too, because there hasn't been a pride celebration anywhere in Yamhill County until we put together last year's first wine country pride. Um, pride just really had not had any sort of existence and we're creating these amazing networks, not just for the queer community, but through, for a lot of uh, minority community, uh, especially where we see a lot of intersectionality and we're excited this year as well to be highlighting 11 other organizations out in wine country that are focused on and doing equity work both within the wine industry and adjacent to the wine industry. It sounds like such a fantastic weekend. So many mm -hmm. fun events. Remy, I'm, I'm a little worried about our queens and all of their big hair and makeup with this heat <laughs> that we have coming this weekend. Do you guys have any, any plans to, to help people stay cool out in wine country? Yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> I actually, I was talking to my brother yesterday and I said, you know, I was going to be wearing my wool tuxedo from Wildwood and Company there in Portland uh -huh. and that that like a bad idea mm -hmm. during this heat. My brother said, well, at least you're not wearing a three pound wig, three pairs of <laughs> nylons and half a pound of makeup. Um, for the Queens, of course, they are getting royal treatment. We have a donated trailer that's usually used for more rural weddings for bridesmaids. So they'll have a nice air conditioned um, uh, green room, if you will. Aww. And then on site, you know, one of the great things about um, our network is that we are a bunch of small business owners. So we are bringing together um, a, an amazing array of colorful tents. We have a local restaurant that donated um, tables and tents and chairs for all of our volunteers. 
we are going to, we've got do, uh, Brew Doctor Kombucha gave us uh, an in-kind donations. We have non-alcoholic free beverages available for everybody. We're very focused on keeping everybody here safe and cool with lots of shade, lots of water, um, and uh, lots of watermelon. <laughs> watermelon's key oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that sounds like such a fun time and as you mentioned uh, benefiting a lot of great local lgbtq plus resources and promoting that visibility in a very important part of our community so thank you both for joining us with a preview this morning enjoy this weekend and happy pride happy, thank you. Pride. happy pride and definitely find our link on winecountrypride.com and watch it's going to be a great show yes yeah. we're going to put a link to the virtual show if you want to stream from home and all the festivities if you want more information on coin.com just click on am extra you'll find it all there all right coming up tomorrow on am extra it's going to be hot but this 